Hello, this is also another day where I'm, I'm taking you back to a math class. Today we are looking at linear inequalities. A topic that is I related to linear equations. The way we solve linear equations is the same same way we are going to solve linear inequalities. So I'm going to give you an introduction, then I'm going to show you on how to solve linear inequalities and representing the solutions on a number line. As part of introduction, uh, we will say that equations contain inequality symbols such as less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, are known as linear inequalities. Terms used in linear inequalities. Some of these terms you have seen them before or you have used them before. We have some terms that are new to you. So for instance, the, the first term greater than is a very common one whose symbol is, is as, uh, given. We have less than whose symbol is, is given more than more than is the same as saying greater than. Greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. These are their symbols, and I know you have seen them before. So, new terms that are brought today are at least, at least, which also means uh, greater than or equal to. I have at most which means less than or equal to. I have not less than, which also represents greater than or equal to. Not more than, meaning less than or equal to. So let's come up with uh, an example, a practical example, whereby you have been sent to the market by your parents, then your parents tells you that, Make sure you spend at most 50 Kenya shillings. So that means when you go to the market, you are not supposed to spend amounts that is more than 50 Kenya shillings. But you can spend all of it so that when we include the, the term equal. So let's look at our example which is saying that solve the following linear inequalities and represent the, the solutions on a number line. So we will start from A, whereby we have 2x minus 5 greater than 13. So this symbol here will act as an equal sign. So you will see that when we are moving a number, which is a minus, to the other side of the symbol, then it, its sign will change the same way it changes in linear equations. Now we will say 2x is greater than 13 plus 5. 2x will be greater than 18. We divide by 2, we divide by 2. So and 2 will cancel. x will be greater than It will be greater than 9. So once we have obtained our solution, we are going to represent our solution on a number line. So I, I am going to draw a number line. You have your number line, identify digit 9 on our number line. Digit 9 is at this given point. So you just draw a small circle. Then don't shade that particular circle because the symbol here is greater than. When the symbol is greater than or less than, we don't shade that as particular circle, meaning that. 9 is not inclusive. 
I will give you an example whereby you are, you are, you are supposed to go to a certain kiosk and buy a pen. Then, somebody tells you, if you go to a certain kiosk, you will spend more than 10. So that means, if you have 10 Kenyan things, you cannot be able to buy that particular item you want to buy because you must have more than 10 Kenyan things. So meaning 10 is not inclusive. So in this case, we have to be that 10, 9 is not included. Therefore, that's why we cannot share. But if we add greater than or equal, we could share this particular part. To show that 9 is inclusive. So in this case, we will draw a line. We will draw a line. Then we put an arrow, which is going to show us that the value of x is more than 9. Then we write x is greater than 9. So that's how we present our answer on an upper line. Let's go to B. In B we have 6 minus 3x. Then less than or equal to 18. We will start by taking 6 to the other side. We will have minus 3x less than or equal to 18. Then minus 6. 6 becomes a minus. Because it is coming from our left to our right. And remember, the symbol here acts the same way an equal sign does. Now we will obtain minus 3x less than or equal to 12 divided by minus 3 divided by minus 3. Minus 3 and minus 3 will cancel. So when you divide by a negative number, the symbol will change. So in this case, it is going to be greater than or equal to minus. So, in any given uh, question, once you divide by a minus, the, the symbol, the, the linear inequality symbol will change. So, once we, you have obtained your solution, you, you, you should now represent it on an upper line as per the question. So, we will draw our upper line. You are done. You identify minus 4 on that number line by drawing a small circle. In this case, our symbol is greater than or equal to. Then you must shade that circle, meaning that 4 is inclusive. Then you draw a line. You put an R to show that energy that is more than minus 4 is required and then you say x greater than or equal to minus 4 somebody can ask me why am I drawing a line towards our right hand side so it depends on the symbol this symbol is greater than it is pointing towards our uh, right hand side that's why I'm drawing a line Towards that side. So let, let us look at number C. In C, if you look at it, we have more than one in one, more than one symbol. At first we have less than, then we have less than or equal. So once you look at a given question and then you realize that. There are two inequality symbols, then it means we, you are going to have two linear inequalities. In A and B, we have one uh, symbol in each case. That makes this statement to be a one linear equation. But here we have two symbols, so it means we are going to have two uh, linear inequalities. We are, we are asking for 
minus 2x less than minus 3x plus 1 less than or equal to 19. To get the first in inequality start from your left, you move all the way up to where we have a second inequality. The first one is here, the second one is starting at that point. So this gives you the first one. Then you move to your right, you start from there. This is where we have the first one. You continue up to where we have the second. So this becomes our second mean and quiet. So we will solve them separately by uh, now coming up with the first one, which is 4 minus 2x less than minus 3x plus 1. We put right term together. We are going to have minus 2x less than, no, 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 we can bring 1 first. We can bring minus 3x first, which will be positive. Then we put our symbol, which is less than. We have plus 1, we take positive 4 to the other side, whereby it is going to become a minus. Minus 2 plus 3, which is minus 1. So that gives us minus x. That will give us, so this is positive. We have uh, minus 2 plus 3, which will give us positive x. Then less than, this one it will give us minus 3. Now we go to the second uh, linear inequality, whereby we have minus 3x plus 1 less than or equal to 19. We take 1 to the other side, that is 3 minus 3x, three uh, less than or equal to 19, then minus 1. Minus 3x, less than or equal to 18. We divide by minus 3, we divide by minus 3. Remember I said that when we are dividing by a minus in linear inequalities, the sign will change. We will have x less than, in this case it will be greater than or equal to minus 6. We now combine the two. We start from the least one, between minus 3 and minus 6. Using a number line, minus 6 comes first. Then it means minus 6 is smaller, so we will say minus 6. I'm starting from minus 6, meaning that I've taken minus 6 on my left, x will go to the right. So the sign will also change and it becomes less than or equal to x. You now bring the other uh, value which is less than minus 3, because now three, minus 3 is greater than minus 4. Then you draw a number line. So we will add minus 6. Minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1. Identify minus 6. Here is where we have minus 6. Identify minus 3. On, on, on minus 6, we will shade because of the sign less than or equal to, meaning minus 6 is inclusive. But where we have minus 3, we don't because we have only less than. Now you join the two circles. Then now you write the solution and say this represents minus 6 less than or equal to x less than minus 3. So that's how you solve linear inequalities. Thank you for listening to me. I appreciate you for supporting this channel. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.